So you have just taken these great photos, done some retouching, and now it's time to upload them on Instagram. But when you load them on Instagram, you realize the resolution has been crushed. You can't maintain high Instagram quality photos. The colors have now changed and now you are puzzled. You have no idea what exactly you did wrong. Or even worse, it looks a little more pale than it looked like on computer. If you are facing such a problem, guess what? Today is the last day you will ever get your images appear in poor quality on Instagram. Learn how to maintain high quality images for Instagram in this Photoshop tutorial. Without further ado, let's dive into this particular tutorial. When you want to maintain Instagram quality of photos, this is how you do it in Photoshop. When you look at this particular image, it was already skin retouched, but we have not yet done any color grading. The trick to maintaining Instagram quality, first of all, in terms of color, is make sure you do not apply anything to do with color or do any color correction in, phot in Photoshop before you convert the color profile of the image. So what is a color profile? You, the pictures usually by default are in uh, Adobe RGB. You know, if you're using DSLRs to shoot most of these images. So what you do, the first thing you do before changing any these pictures or color grading it is uh, you first turn it into sRGB because Instagram is not Adobe. So you have to convert it from Adobe RGB and put it in sRGB uh, because if you just upload it the way it is in Adobe RGB, Instagram will somehow crash the saturation and the vibrancy out of the image. I remember one of my friends, Jeff, called me and told me, hey, Oscar, I think my pictures change color when I upload them on Instagram. They tend to get a bit desaturated. The reason was he was uploading these particular pictures in Adobe RGB instead of sRGB. So the trick is, if you're going to upload these images on Instagram, is to change the color profile. How do we do that? You come here into edit, and then you say convert color profile and right here you come and say look for sRGB it is actually this is the one we have two three the fourth you look for sRGB just like that leave the rest as it is and then just say okay now we are safe in that even if we upload such an image on Instagram, the way it is, it will definitely retain its colors. So the next thing we are going to do right now is do some color grading or some color corrections. But before we do that, uh, we are going to first of all sharpen the eyes because why we sharpen the eyes is uh, Instagram usually crashes the quality of the images. So. Why I sharpen the eyes is because when people are looking at Instagram images, the first thing the human eye sees is the eyes. So we're going to first sharpen the eyes so that the eyes pop. Then on top of that, we are going to add on our color grade. So how do we do that? You come and just duplicate this. Yeah. And then what we are going to do, I just going to get this lasso tool. Let us put this to zero and then we are just going to select around the eyes just like that. Uh, we're going to add another selection. And then you right click and say layer via copy just like that. So what we are going to do, the technique we are going to use definitely for sharpening the eyes, we're going to use uh, the frequency separation technique. So we're going to name this eyes yeah so we're going to come and duplicate this twice and then you come here and say okay you come and unsee this then select this let's rename this the lower and we're going to rename this eyes the upper so 
So this is going to be the colors of the eyes and this is going to be the actual texture of the eyes. So how do we do this? You come on this, select this eyes lower and then you come into filter, blur, you say Gaussian blur. Okay, let's put it to zero. So we, are, we don't want them to be overly sharp. So what we are going to do, we are just going to come and push it just slightly. You just want them to be slightly out of focus, but still maintaining the way they really look like, just like that. Yeah, just a seven will be okay. Then you come here and say, yeah, you will treat for it. Then you come and select the upper layer. So you come here and say image, apply image you come just right here and then you select eyes lower in this particular panel like that so the next thing you're going to do you're just going to come here into blending modes and then you come and say subtract yeah when you subtract you're going to keep this at 100 keep the scale at 2 and keep this at 128. It is the frequency separation technique we all know. Leave the rest as is and just say, okay. So the next thing we are going to do is come here and say, here we come and say linear light, just like here, linear light. So we are just going to now make this eye sharp. Let me just zoom this in for you so that you guys get a feel of what I'm talking about. So what you do, you come onto this lower eyes layer and just crush the opacity. See how the eyes sharpen? Depending on how sharp you really want them, if you took it this, they would be too sharp. That is too, too sharp. So you just come and we shall just keep it at, at around, I think 57 is good. So you just come and put these in a group. I just name the group eyes. Now, the challenge is removing these dark masks all around the eyes. So what we do, you come select this and then you click on the next layer mask and then create rather a layer mask just next to it. And then you get your brush tool, make sure it's black selected, opacity and flow at 100. And then you just come paint over. It's just all around. We don't want the wrinkles to be really overly emphasized in the photo. So I'll just come in, you know, paint all these edges off just like that. I'll just go a little bit in, just like, like that. So we have sharpened our eyes. So on Instagram, our picture, first of all, is going to appear sharp and, you know, sharper than that than uh, the usual Instagram pictures you'll, you'll be seeing on Instagram because most of them don't go through these steps. They just post the way they are. So the next thing we are going to do, we are now going to make this picture pop. We're going to give it some bit of color, you know, so that it stands out on Instagram. First things first, we are going to first make this yellow here even pop more. So how do we do that? You just come here into here you you look into adjustment layers and look for hue saturation just like that so hue saturation you come and get this this particular hand you see and then we select this color yellow and then press the mouse button down let me get this again you just come here this hand you get a color that you want to pop let's use this like this yellow and then you press the mouse button down don't let it go and then just drive it, drag it because we want it to pop. We want our yellows to pop just like that. You know, when you look at this particular image, you see how the face is also, you know, getting that particular color. I'm going to show you how to undo that. All we want is this to pop mm -hmm. the dress. So just like that. So what do we do? You press control, you select this adjustment layer, press control I, and then you get your brush tool here. You press control I in order to invert the mask. 
yeah so that nothing is everything is hidden and we get our brush tool here this time we you press x on your keyboard to change this so that white is on top so we are just going to get our tool and paint over this yellow just like that in that we, what we want is to have even if Instagram decides to crush the saturation, the image still pops, you know? I think I, I, I loved the way the eyeshadow here had come off in our previous thing. So I'll just get the brush and just bring this. No, alternatively, let me do it this way. Alternatively, let me just create a new layer mask just particularly for the eyeshadow. So you come here and say still hue, saturation, still we pick this yellow and then we drive it. Not so much, just a little bit. Do you remember we are only doing this for the eyes, for the eyeshadow up there? We'll close this. Still you do the same thing. Control I on your keyboard with this selected and get your brush tool and then we shall reduce the opacity just and flow a little bit 40 44 is enough and then we just paint over here with a little bit of white because we don't want it to be Yes, so the next thing we are going to do we are now going to do what we call a skin color grading so here we come you come and get your selective color tool just here selective color so first of all we're going to work with the reds so with the reds by you crushing the cyan it is you adding in reds in the skin tones by you adding you know more cyan is you removing the reds so what we are going to do we want to add in a little bit of uh, reds in the skin tones so we're going to come and crush the cyan a little bit just a little bit like around five then we're going to come and make the reds a bit dark by just pushing this forward so that we get more contrast within the reds so you just come and push the blacks just a little bit there you know then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come into gradient maps just here yeah and then this gradient maps is more like a uh, split toning where you you're telling photoshop i want my shadows to have this kind of feel and i want my highlights to have this kind of feel so this side represents the shadows and this side represents the highlights so you just come and choose and say here i want my shadows to have a bit of uh, maybe a bit of this cyan something like that if you want you can just copy this color code and just paste it into your photoshop then the next thing you come and select a highlight and you say for my highlights i usually love my highlights to be in this kind of milky kind of pink you say okay and then there so what you do you come into blending modes and then you say color with color it helps you have those split tones having a bit of uh, a bit of contrast unlike leaving them in normal when you look at them in normal they usually have that kind of uh, overlay that is hazy but in order for you to have contrast still in your image you just take the blending mode to color and then we're going to crush this opacity just there i think I usually keep it at around 10 in between 8 and 10 so before and after i don't know whether on screen you're able to see the before and after on a youtube screen but that's the before and that's the after and now the next thing is one of my favorites it's called calves calves is going to make certain features really pop and stand out so you come here and say calves so you just come and pull this a little down the shadow area and then you come and bring this a little up not so much so that you have the highlights really 
stand out. So the next thing we are going to do is to add in a little bit of warmth. Yeah, just for Instagram. Instagram usually loves a lot of warm pictures. So you just come into the mid tones of blue, select the blue icon here, and then pull this just a little down, a little down, not so much up, a little down. And then you come into the highlights and cool them down just a little bit. Yes. Now, since the skin tones are a bit are coming towards that uh, orange kind of feel, I have this background that is in a teal cyan kind of version. What if I made it pop as well? Let me. This is optional. You may choose to do this or not. But for this, this is this this particular picture has a special background. For for other images, I don't usually do this. But this for this one, I'm just going to make this background pop more. So I just come still here, get the hue saturation layer, and then just come and select this and then just push it forward. I don't push it forward in such a way that it gets crushed. So I'll just pull it a little back. It's just adding a little saturation right there. And then I'll close this. Yeah, let's see the before and after, before and after. So. Now, the next thing, this is where most people make mistakes. When you are cropping images for Instagram, make sure you resize everything here for yourself. Don't wait for Instagram to resize them for you because when Insta you let Instagram resize these images for you, usually it crashes, oh, excuse me, usually it crashes the quality of the images. So you come here and shall put it in uh, five by five, five by five, then keep, this is five inches by five inches, keep the resolution at 300. And then we shall just come here and position this just there. And then I'll just press enter on my keyboard. So the next thing I'm going to do is do like general sharpening of the image. The general sharpening, you just come and say Control Alt Shift E to create a screenshot. Yeah, or for those using Mac, you press Command Alt Shift and E to create a screenshot of this image. And then you come and do linear light, convert this to linear light, come to filter, other, you say high pass. And uh, I usually keep this at like uh, 1.5, like like 0 0.5 rather, not 1.5, because the more you take it, the sharper the image gets. But I don't want this kind of sharpness. No, that is too much for my test. So you just come and keep it at around. I'll keep it at 9, since the image is also big and you see. Okay. So now when you look at this, it is really sharp enough, but I don't want sharpness everywhere. I only want sharpness on the certain parts of the skin and the, the edges. So what we do, we create a layer mask just next to it. And then we press Control I, and then you get your brush tool. I just want sharpness at around the edges. So I just paint over. The whites, just the edges. I don't want sharpness to be everywhere in the picture. I still want the skin soft, so I just apply it at the edge. That is where I go on painting. Maybe in the dripping zones, like there. That is where I want everywhere that I see line. And then Boom, our picture is ready for posting. Now, such an image, it is very, it cannot lose its quality because one, you've changed it to sRGB, so you have all the colors maintained. Two, the, you've actually done all the color grading, you've made certain parts of an image pop. The trick is having certain images, certain parts of your image pop, you know? And then three, 
we have sharpened various parts of the images and we have also sharpened the eyes which is the first thing human beings look at when they are looking at such images that is that for today thank you for watching this video i hope to see you guys in my next video if you've loved this video and you've really learned something in the comments below say yes and i'll see you in my next video and adios